So here's a piece of code that we're going to use to pull records that match a certain search criteria. So the way that it works is that we instantiate an object using the get bean static method and the uh, object is basically going to be an accounts bean. So that's going to allow us to uh, retrieve records, change records, etc. In this case, we want to retrieve them. So we instantiate the bean. Then we want to get the bean list, which is going to be an array that we generate by using the get list method, which is going to contain the following arguments. So the arguments are as follows. So we have the name, uh, that is what are we going to order the records, the return results by. Then we have the um, uh, SQL where statement. So in this case, we want to, for example, specify that we're looking for the shipping address being Canada. We specify the table always. So inside the, the accounts table, the shipping address should be Canada and the accounts name should be Amatic. So um, in this case, you can basically delete this, you can add more and you can mix and match your search criteria uh, to your heart's desire. So then we have the following arguments, which is where do we start from? So it's basically the offset. So in this case, the offset is going to be zero. Uh, how many results do we want to return? Minus one means unlimited in, or in other words, it means default to the next value, which is how many items do we want to show per page? So per page basically means how many values uh, would you like to show in total? So if we're starting from the uh, zeroth records, so we're going to show records from zero to 10. And if we show what the actual bean looks like, you can see that it's going to be a very comprehensive list of results and they're all um, going to be listed on the page and the final is going to be the summary so it's uh, it's going to show us the row count how many rows did we get back what is the next offset so if we started at 10 we're going to show 10 records the next offset is going to be um, 10 because we, we showed them from the offset zero. So we're showing records from zero to 10. And then the ne next offset is going to be um, 10. That means that we're going to show uh, the from um, the offset of 10, the 10 following items, right? So hopefully that makes sense. The previous offset is minus 10. That's because we're at zero. So we're, we're going into the negative, but for example, if we had a higher value, we'd be showing something else. So if we want to specify, uh, if we want to pull a specific record, so you can uh, do it this way. It's a very simple example. We're going to specify uh, the list inside the bin, bin list. We have the list item, which contains all of our records. And this is the zeroth record, which is an object. So we want to pull the um, object's property, which is called shipping address. So basically we're saying, okay, so for the first record that you got, show us what the shipping address uh, is. What is the shipping address country? Sorry. So we go, we upload the results, rerun the script, and it's going to be Canada. And you can do the same thing. For example, you can put here name, industry, whatever you'd like. <clears throat> and that's going to show you that property. So as an alternative, if you want to uh, basically get the full list, you don't want to mess with the offsets and how many results you want to show per page, all that stuff, you can specify the get full list method. And here uh, the arguments, they change ever so slightly. So we have here the convert date we set to false. So that basically means do we want to convert the date to the user date uh, format specified? Do we want to change the format? So in this case, we'll put false. And do we want to show the deleted results? Uh, one is yes, zero is no. We don't want to show deleted results. Um, or you can also use this, the show deleted results um, argument when we are working with the get list method also. And this is going to show us all of the results. So if you found the video at all helpful, if you have any questions, please let me know. And if, I mean, if you found the video helpful, please leave a like. If you have any questions, please let me know and uh, subscribe because I'll be making more of these videos in the future. Thank you.